No matter how many times I hear this song on the main menu screen, I never get tired of ever hearing it. What's up guys and welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. I think this is one of the most underrated Call of Duty games I have ever played. I will say I was a big hater on this game when it first released. I did not like this game at all. But if you really switch your mindset from a competitive player to a pub match player just trying to have fun you can make the game feel a whole lot different so like modern warfare 2 for me right now when i was very competitive i didn't really like it that much but now that i'm kind of just playing the pub side of it it's kind of fun the same thing here with black ops cold war i have a lot of fun playing this game when i'm not taking it so seriously i played rank play on this game the entire time and i came back after the year was over for black ops cold war and i figured out this game is a masterpiece and treyarch had to put this game together within like like what less than a year and you can call me a fanboy i don't care i think treyarch games are the best call of duty games we've ever had in the entire series no hate to infinity ward or sledgehammer or whoever else makes the call of duty games but treyarch just makes the best storylines and make the best characters the best guns dlc weapons maps etc 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 you can't tell me anyone else makes better content than treyarch they made this game with all these maps within a year it's insane that's why he's the goat the and i would probably say a majority of people know more about the black ops series and the modern warfare series just like the storylines and the zombies and everything like, yeah zombies black ops has zombies what does modern warfare have Spec ops it's just it's a mind-blowing thing man honestly like treyarch makes the best content ever and then like this game just had so much potential and it did capitalize on most of it i mean just look at this it's a honey bee gun like <laughs> who would even think about that honestly <laughs> Secure the objective. And the diamond camo in this game was beautiful too. What the hell? Oh my god. The Craig was probably by far my favorite weapon in the game too. Nice little double kill. Oh my god, they all spawn right there. And it's still crazy to think that this game was made in less than a year. Treyarch were just forced to pull this game out. Take that again. Oh, I snapped on him. Oh, my game almost killed me. Oh my god. No, oh, he's right there. Oh my god, I snapped on him. Dude, I am feeling myself right now. What do you mean by that? Oh my God, dude, we are putting on a clinic right now. No, we've already got a veto on a strafe run. We're already ruining these guys' careers. Dude, we are going ham right now. Just put out a rocket launcher. Dude, we're gonna get a gunship like in the first half of the game. We honestly might break 100 kills this first game on. Oh my god. Halftime, we're 43 and 9. The 100 kills are doable. We just gotta start popping off with the VTOL and the gunship after this. There's the gunship. All right. Dude, they are just spawning right in the open for me. This is awesome. They got air patrol. No way. Oh my God. Nice. 
snapped on him. Damn, I wanted to get 100 so bad, dude. 81 and 13, though, that's pretty damn good. For a first game on, that's pretty insane. I know this game was overrun by Krig 6s and the AK-74U. Everyone was running like the meta guns back then. And honestly, the Krig 6 has to be one of my favorite, if not my favorite AR right next to the AN-94 from Black Ops 2. Now, can you imagine if they brought back the AN-94 for the third time here in Black Ops Cold War? Because it was in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. I don't think it was in Black Ops 4. Actually, it might have been in Black Ops 4. I don't know. I want to play a game of raids so bad. I will say the only thing I didn't like about Cold War was the way that the streaks were used in this game. Like, for example, if you were to kill three people and you died, you will still get counted towards your streak. Whereas in today's Call of Duties and older ones, once you die, your streak kind of starts over and you have to restart and get the streak again to get your kill streaks. And the Krig just shoots so straight, like you cannot miss a bullet on anybody. What? Yeah, the Krig is just one of those guns that shoots so straight. It reminds me of the, um, oh my God. Dude, the Craig he just is a monster. Dude, it just melts him from a range. Holy crap. Dude, it, it's a beast. Oh, I heard him pull out the Molly too. That's why I threw a trophy system down. God, no way it's killed that guy. Oh my god! Oh my god. I am finessing. Dude, I am finessing up here right now. No way. Oh my god, I was finessing. Excuse the high pitched voice, but I got kind of excited there. Please vote slums. Thank you. Why are you hard scoping? Oh my God, that all spawned right there. I mean, dude, just look at it. It's so beautiful. Slums remastered is probably the best remastered map I've ever seen. Besides Raid. And now we're playing against some cracked out kids. <laughs> you have the war machine and everything. Oh my god, I was gonna snap in that guy in the window too, been awesome. Oh my god, I'm gonna snap on YouTube. Wow, if you didn't have a shotgun, you were dead. It's a close game. Need two more kills here. Two kills. Don't choke this, guys, please. This we choked. Oh my god. I should have brought the VTOL. I don't know what I'm doing. Now we gotta see who threw the game. A level 1000 went 16 and 22. How do you. You're 1700. What the hell? So yeah, that was Black Ops Cold War in uh, 2023. The game is still thriving with a huge population of players right now. So if you want to play the game, I highly insist to go play in it. It's a lot better than Modern Warfare 2. You're going to have a lot of fun, I promise you. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.
See ya.